this yeah. moment and put it to record. I'm sorry, I'm doing to things. Oh yeah, Let, we're gonna we're gonna record the meeting for the families that um, have not been able to join so that they can listen to it and watch it. Um, so that's why the muting is so important. And um, if you don't want to be on camera while it's being recorded, you could just take your camera off. We totally understand. En este momento eh, estamos grabando esta reunión este, para que las familias que no estén aquí puedan eh, ver la presentación. Aquellos que no deseen que se le grabe, por favor, pa apaguen sus cámaras. All right, so I'm going to start with um, just kind of a, a little bit of the, um, the procedural stuff. We're going to do a question and answer a little different with this meeting. Uh, we will send out, the teachers will send out a survey uh, tomorrow, and you'll have the weekend to think about what questions you want to ask. So if anything was not answered or you need clarification on anything, you can put it through that uh that survey. And then Mr. Nick and Debbie and I, we will answer the questions um, through a document so that you have the answer in front of you. Um, because we know that a lot of families will ask similar questions. So it's a lot easier if we just get the questions and then we give you the answers uh, that are the most accurate. Eh, lo que vamos a hacer es que todos van a tener una oportunidad de hacer pregunta. La manera que vamos a hacer eso es que vamos a hacer una encuesta que las maestras le van a mandar a todos los padres. La razón por la cual estamos haciendo eso es una, queremos darles unas eh, respuestas claras. Dos, eh, sabemos que hay varios padres que quizás tengan las mismas preguntas y al hacer esto le va a dar la oportunidad pues que todos tengan la respuesta a la misma vez. All right. Um, I just hope that everyone is doing as well as they can during this time. Um, our hearts go out to the families and our friends that have been impacted by the coronavirus. So if we could just take a moment to just pause and reflect for those that have been impacted, those that we have lost. Um, I think it's very important to take time out to honor them. En este momento, eh, quiero dejarles saber que eh, quiero dejarles saber que estoy contento que todos estén bien. Sabemos que hay familias que han sido impactadas por eh, lo que está ocurriendo y queremos co tener coger unos cuantos minutos para eh, tener hacer una reflexión sobre lo que han pasado a la familia. Thank you. Gracias. I could have done that one. I know that one. Um, <laughs> so, you know, families, when, when we think of May and June, um, it really is one of the best times of the school year. It, it has a lot of life to it. We got through the winter and we're looking forward to all of the end of the year celebrations. Um, that is something that no matter, I, in my other school, it's just a great time of the year. And um, with all that not happening this year, we are all definitely feeling the loss of a lot of our community traditions. Cuando viene, llega los meses de mayo y de junio, este, nosotros como escuela empezamos a prepararnos para las actividades de fin de año. De año y este año, este, pues sentimos eh, la pérdida, ¿verdad? De que todo es diferente. So, you know, with the school year being remote learning for the rest of May and June, um, it's very important that your children log in every day uh, to access and complete their assignments. Um, I know that sometimes kids will be like, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. But it really is the best practice for them to get them prepared as best as they can for sixth grade. Um, when we work with the fifth grade teachers, we're always looking for ways to create a sense of normal, creating work that addresses fifth grade standards, uh, while taking into consideration that what we do remotely is not going to be the same thing as we do in the building. It just won't be. Um, and, you know, that's what makes being in the building so special. Eh, sabemos que estamos ya en mayo y en junio y les animamos a ustedes que por favor animen a sus niños que entren a la clase de ellos. Este es bien importante. Eh, que ellos completen los trabajos, no va a ser igual que los, los otros días, ¿verdad? <laughs> no va a ser igual que estar en la clase, pero sí queremos hacerlo lo más, la experiencia lo más posible, lo más normal posible. 
So the Google Classroom platform allows your children to work on key fifth grade standards um, so that they're meeting grade level standards in the core subject area. So I'm gonna give you a few examples of standards that teachers and kids would be working on in the building, but now they're gonna do it at home. Um, so things like analyze how visual and multimedia elements contribute to meaning of literary and informational texts, that's a lot of words, um, and introduce a precise claim and organize the reasons and evidence logically. Like those are, these are standards that can be assessed remotely and it's very clear it's to the point those are the types of things that we want to work on so when your kids go to sixth grade they feel prepared eh, cuando viene a remote learning este los niños tienen que estar preparados verdad y los maestros van a estar a, a, eh, van a estar tocando en puntos bien informal e, e importante para ellos este ellos van a estar aprendiendo de información de literatura este y información bien importante que le va a ayudar a ellos estar preparado para el sexto grado. Okay. Um, so creating these habits, um, it helps your children, you know, submit work in a timely manner. Um, this also allows your child not to have a pile of work to complete at one given time, and it also creates a sense of this is the time for school, and then this is the time to play and be a kid. Uh, we want to create that that time frame for them so that they don't feel like the work is there all the time. Um, it's very important that every child has time to be a student and then to be a 10-year-old. Uh, the teachers are accepting work that was previously assigned. Uh, we won't turn away any student work, but the more you do it on time, the easier it is to get the feedback and to get uh, information from the teachers. Este es bien, sabe, es bien buen, es bien importante crear un hábito de entregar las cosas a tiempo. Eh, mucho, si no la entregan a tiempo, va a ser mucho para completar. Este, y queremos que ellos eh, sepan que hay un tiempo para la escuela y un tiempo para jugar. Eh, si ellos no completan el trabajo día a día, ellos van a tener mucho trabajo. Y pues como le indicamos, queremos que ellos sean estudiantes, pero también queremos que ellos sean niños de 10 años. Las maestras sí van a estar aceptando trabajo que ya ellos completaron de días atrás, pero que es bien importante que pues desde ahora eh, en adelante ellos hagan el trabajo día a día para que no se amontone. So, you know, if remote learning is going to be part of our future, lives in some shape or way, uh, we want to develop good habits now. Um, so your children are assigned work every day across their subject areas, as well as their specialty classes, art, music, phys ed. Those are things that should be checked and completed every day. Okay. So, si en el futuro los niños van a tener este, esta clase de, de aprendizaje, lo que es aprendizaje remoto, este, es bueno desarrollar hábit, buenos hábitos para que ellos eh, pues puedan hacer estudiantes ejemplares. Eh, ellos van a tener trabajo en matemática, en inglés, escritura, ciencia, etc. Y por eso no queremos que ellos eh, tengan mucho trabajo eh, del pasado que tengan que entregar. You know, um, just to, you know, from parent to parent, um, I know it's not easy um, with my son doing the same thing of trying to, one, not tell us every assignment that's there. Like, it really does feel like a whole nother job where you have to, like, sit with your kid and check and be like, why aren't you doing this? You have to do this. We have our own things that we have to work on and we trust our, our kids. Um, to do that. And um, I know it's not easy and we do appreciate that you are getting the assignments in. Um, so it's not that there's a, a hard due date, like time, if it's not in by this time, you're in trouble. It really is just get your kids into good habits to submit the work. Eh, sé que, que, que no es fácil, ¿verdad? Porque sabemos que ustedes tienen que sentarse con ellos, chequear que ellos sí hicieron todos los trabajos y estoy hablando con los padres. Este, 
y sabemos que tenemos otras cosas, este trabajo, otras responsabilidades en la casa, pero, pero lo importante aquí es que ellos crean hábitos buenos. Este, y no solo eso, pero ellos no, no hay un horario que se tiene que entregar. La cosa es que se entregue el día, tú sabes, antes, antes que se duerman. Eh, pero sí, queremos crear unos niños pues con buenos hábitos. So when the school year is like officially completed in June, um, we'll reach out to families to have a, you know, 305 device return. So if we lent a device, we're going to need that back because um, it's going to, you know, it's 305 stuff to share with the other kids in the future year. Um, and then we'll also be able to hopefully give out yearbooks and T-shirts and, and distribute those and the senior dues. Um, so with all that information, I want to hand it over to Mr. Nick because he has done this from September to now, and I feel like he's the best person that can give you the information. So take it away, Mr. Nick. Thank you to the families. And uh, kids, I would like to do a, like a lunch with the fifth grade. I haven't seen you guys in a really, really long time. I miss you guys. Um, so I'm going to work with your teachers to get a code. So we can uh, meet up and you can just kind of fill me in on how life is going. All right. So look for that next week. I, I, I want my wife out of the house. I have to go let her in. Oh, yeah. Go. yeah. OK. Queremos, sabemos que vamos a completar el año, ¿verdad? Y antes que se complete el año, eh, vamos a estar comunicándonos con ustedes para arreglar, eh, bueno, establecer un día en donde todos ustedes puedan eh, entregar los aparatos, pues, que se le, eh, aparatos electrónicos que se le han emprestado para que puedan hacer la clase de remota. Eh, so lo que vamos a hacer es que eh, va a ser un día que ustedes entren, van a entregar los, re, los aparatos y también recibirán el libro de gra, graduando. También eh, sabemos que ustedes han pagado eh, senior dues, dinero para el graduando, y ese dinero se le va a entregar también. Eh, me gustaría hacer un, un almuerzo con los niños del quinto grado. Eh, van a oír sobre eso eh, pronto. Quiero hacerlo para la semana que viene. Y pues es bien importante que estén alerta porque quiero saber cómo están los niños y hablar personalmente con los niños. Mr. Nick ahora va a hablar sobre eh, lo que es las actividades y todo eh, del quinto grado. Hi everyone, how are you? I wish I had this screen divided up so I could see every single one of you because we miss you guys so much. We really do. Eh, bueno, buenas tardes a todos. Quisiera tener eh, la pantalla en donde yo pueda ver cada uno de ustedes porque nosotros los extrañamos mucho. You know, we, we're trying our best to make this work, but nothing replaces the kids and you guys coming to school where we can see your smiling faces, have just have conversations with you guys. So do know, I know you guys are feeling it. We are feeling it too. And we do miss you so much. I'm going to give my, I'm going to put my hands out and give you guys a hug. So if everyone could give a hug, that would be great. Thank you. There's hugs there. I see some hugs. <laughs> Quisiéramos estar en el en el en el salón de clase, verdad, en donde se supone que estemos. Este otra vez los extraño y quiero darle un abrazo bien fuerte a todos. Um, and I know we know this is hard for you. It's hard for us. You know, just like we're trying to get quality stuff up for your children we're juggling our own children you know and many of our teachers have young children so it is it's a stress on everybody we we know that it's stressful for you so if if you feel at any time you need to take a break you can reach out we're here for you guys and you will just talk we could just talk <laughs> Eh, hay muchos de nosotros que tenemos hijos que están en la escuela también. Y no solo eso, pero tenemos hijos que son pequeños. Es, es, es estresante. Y a veces ustedes, si quiero dejarles saber que si ustedes sienten que necesitan un tiempito en donde necesitan hablar, desahogarse o algo así, nosotros estamos aquí, yo estoy aquí para apoyarles. So not only are we trying to provide a strong education this time, it is one of our goals to give the fifth grade students 
a, a stepping up ceremony that will be something for them to remember. No solo este, quiero también dejarles saber que no solo nosotros les queremos proveer a ellos una buena educación, pero también este, queremos eh, proveerle a ellos tiempos en donde ellos puedan reflexionar para atrás a, a la escuela y pues memorias bonitas. So we will work hard to do all we can to provide this to the students because they deserve it and they have been dealing with so much in these past two months. Y lo que vamos a hacer es que vamos a tratar lo más que nosotros podemos de, de ofrecerle una experiencia bonita porque sabemos que ellos han pasado por mucho. We have already been discussing ideas and we will continue to meet and discuss ideas that will be best for this unfortunate time that we are all in. Eh, hemos estado hablando de ideas, ¿verdad? Que tenemos y no solo eso, hemos tenido varias reuniones eh, platicando sobre las ideas y qué se puede hacer durante este tiempo tan difícil. We can't give exact details because we need to wait for Governor Cuomo to make executive order decisions. And once he makes those decisions and we move forward and you know, he starts loosening up restrictions, we will be able to make a better plan on how this stepping up ceremony or moving on ceremony will occur and what it'll look like. Eh, estamos esperando a ver las decisiones que toma el gobernador este, Pomo, eh, porque él es el que nos da la directiva en qué se puede hacer y qué no se puede hacer eh, durante estos tiempos difíciles. We also know this is hard times financially for many of us, and we want to do all we can do to refund all your senior dues. Y sabemos que estos tiempos son tiempos eh, fuertes financieramente, eh, difíciles, ¿verdad? Y queremos hacer todo lo posible que, de entregarle todo el dinero que ustedes han pagado para, para las actividades. And then in refunding all your dues, you know, we do still want to give the, the students their t-shirt, their yearbook, and, and other things. So the following will have to happen for... Um, us to uh, be able to refund all $100. Y este, al entre, queremos entregar el dinero, ¿verdad? Pero también queremos darle a ellos la camisa del gradán, el graduando, un segundo, graduando, <laughs> y también el libro del graduando. Pero eso so, es lo que tenemos que hacer. Sorry. Uh, sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so... The school will use the money raised from the fundraiser in January, the talent show, to pay for the t-shirts. So lo que va a pasar es que la escuela va a usar el dinero que recaudó durante el talent show para las camisetas. Um, in past years, the PTA has always provided a donation, and in preliminary talks with them, they will continue to provide a donation to cover the expense for the yearbook. Este, en el pasado, el PTA ha, cubri, ha donado a la clase graduante este, y hemos te, estado teniendo conversaciones en donde ellos este, están planificando de todavía eh, dar el apoyo y ese es el dinero que usaríamos para el libro del graduando. Um, the good chance that there will not be a dance as we can't bring, you know, groups of people that lodge together. Hay una posibilidad grande que no va a haber un baile, puesto que no podemos tener un grupo grande de personas en un mismo lugar. Uh, also, the senior trip will also, unfortunately, most likely be canceled. Y el viaje del graduando, también del, del que se gradúa, también to, uh, now, one of the more important, I know this was very important to the families and it was important to us as well, but to give all the money back like we want to, which we think is really the most important at this time, to do that when we do have our ceremony, 
it will probably be without caps and gowns. Eh, para poder darle el dinero a los padres, eh, regresarle el dinero, este, es importante que ustedes sepan que no va a haber toga y birrete. Um, in the weeks ahead, we will come up with a plan to distribute the yearbook, the t-shirt, and refund all the money. Um, I can't say, you know, give you a date when that will happen, but we will, you know, again, once the governor loosens restrictions and we see how he rolls out his plan, we will definitely come up with a date where we can give all three things to the students and to yourself. Eh, pues como le dije anteriormente, eh, queremos organizarnos, ¿verdad? Para poder darle a ustedes el libro, el, este, la camiseta y, y, pues la, y el dinero. Y nosotros tenemos que esperar eh, para poder hacerlo en una manera segura, este, pero tenemos que esperar a la directiva. Thank you for your time. I appreciate that all of you have come on this uh, Google Meets. Stay safe, stay healthy, and God bless. Eh, muchísimas gracias por su tiempo. Este, gracias por entrar a, a la reunión. Este, manténgase seguro, manténgase saludables, y buenas noches. Right, Debbie, I was just going to jump in. Thank you, uh, Nick. And um, I, I just want to say again, um, a questionnaire will come out tomorrow. Um, I know the teachers are on here, so I'm going to send it out in the morning. Um, look for it. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to either get in contact with uh, Ms. Debbie and, and we can go over if there's any sort of um, confusion about the form. But it's going to be real simple. You can do it in the language of your choice. We'll translate it. Um, we really do appreciate you taking the time out and, you know, we miss the kids. Fifth grade is a fun bunch. It's the, the group that I was introduced to first. So like I'm partial to them. Um, and, uh, you have a good bunch of kids and, uh, just take care of them and we'll sort the other stuff out. And, uh, thank you so much. Be safe, stay healthy, and, uh, we'll see you soon. Hey. Hi everyone. Como le Hi everyone. Como les indiqué anteriormente, este sí le vamos a mandar en la mañana. Mañana en la mañana, mañana van a recibir un cuestionario. Ese cuestionario va a estar en todos los lenguajes. Este, ustedes pueden, eh, si tienen alguna pregunta, por favor llénenlo eh, o cualquier inquietud. Este, los extrañamos. Eh, extrañamos específicamente su, sus niños puesto que fue el primer grupo que yo conocí. Son unos niños bien divertidos. Eh, los queremos mucho. Manténganse saludable y saben que estamos aquí para ustedes. And thank you to the teachers. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of this. We appreciate it. Um, and uh, let's close this out and enjoy the rest of this beautiful day the best we can. Open a window up. That's what I'm going to do. And try to breathe some fresh air. Thank you. Gracias a los, a, los, a los maestros que están presentes, a los padres, y quiero que ustedes sepan que, que pues estamos aquí y eh, es un día bonito este, y vamos a seguir teniendo una bonita tarde. Buenas noches. Gracias a todos. Buenas noches. Good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 We miss you. Good night. We miss you guys. Stay safe, everyone.